In this video, we're going to take a look at two examples of foiling some radical expressions. So foiling comes from multiplying binomials. So this time we do have a couple binomials here. They just happen to also include radical expressions. All right, so just to review foil there, multiplying those first terms, that's where the F comes from. O is multiplying the outside terms. And then the inside terms are these two. So there's our i, and then our last terms would be the last term in each of the individual binomials. So there is your FOIL acronym to help you memorize this. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that multiplication. So square root of 2 times square root of 3 is going to give me a square root of 6. When I go to the outside term, square root of 2 times square root of 5 is going to give me a square root of 10. Going to the um, inside terms, 5 times the square root of 3 is just going to be a 5 square root of 3. And then multiplying the last terms, 5 times that square root of 5 will just give me a 5 square root of 5. All right, now this one, I would then need to look at each one of those radicals, make sure that I could not simplify them. None of these can be simplified any farther. I have no like radicals, so then that is the answer. Okay, so sometimes, yes, they're going to be long, maybe have four or three different terms there. You might not have to simplify the radicals, and you might not have to combine like terms. All right, so we will do the exact same thing over here. Let's go ahead and mark the FOIL. So first terms would be the first terms in each of the binomials. Outside terms would be the out, far outside ones. The inside terms are right there, and our last terms are the last of each of the binomials. All right, now from there, we're going to go through our FOIL and come up with an answer here. Again, multiplying those first terms, we'll multiply the numbers in front, as well as multiply what's underneath the radical. So we're going to have a 4 square root of 6 on that first one. Multiplying the outside terms, 2 times 5 is going to give me a 10. And I'm going to go ahead and actually show all the steps here. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 would be square root of 9, which is what we have been doing. And we will simplify this in the next step. And then our inside terms, 3 times 2 is going to be a 6, square root of 10. And then the last one there, 3 times that 5 will be a 15 out in front. 5 times 3 underneath will be square root of 15. All right, now again, you need to check each one of these. I cannot simplify three of them. All right, so I have no like terms there, but this one I can simplify. Square root of 9 is 3, so basically this is a 10 times a 3. All right, and what you will, to, if you work with radicals long enough, square root of 3 times square root of 3 will always turn out to be a 3, because 3 times 3 is 9, the whole concept there. So simplifying and writing this answer out here, we'll have a 4 square root of 6 plus a 30 plus a 6 square root of 10, plus a 15 square root of 15. All right, and again, nothing combined. We don't have to get some like radicals on this. Uh, really just trying to focus on the foiling part of how to multiply two binomials that include rational expressions. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.